Good morning, teachers. So I will be presenting the actual LET questions last March 19, 2023 LET examinations. Of course, with answers and rationalization. Okay, so this is on social studies. Okay, so shall we begin? Question number one. Itik itik is a mimetic folk dance in the Philippines that mimics the movement of ducks. It originates from okay what, uh, what place? A. Bohol. B. Surigao del Sur. C. Panay Island. And D. Pangasinan. Okay, the answer is letter B. Surigao del Sur. Okay, so. Itik Itik originated in the province of Surigao del Sur in the Philippines. It is a traditional dance that imitates the movement of a duck. Itik in Filipino particularly, it's grateful and lively steps. So we have here the, yes, the picture you know, of girls dancing Itik Itik, okay? So Itik Itik originated from Surigao del Sur. Okay, so question number two, Sayaw sa Bangko, history can be traced all the way back from the place where it became. Okay, so A, Pangasinan, B, Bohol, C, Panay Island, and D, Surigao del Sur. The answer is Pangasinan. Okay, so Sayaw sa Bangko, a dance on the bench, is a folk dance from the Pangasinan province of the Philippines. Performers dances on the top, uh, performers dance on the top of the bench that is normally six inches wide. Bench tapir dance, dance on top of the bench is a dance which originates from Pangasinan. Okay, so that is our answer. Number five, uh, number three, from where did the famous Carinusa folk dance originate? A. Panay Island. B. Pangasinan, C. Manila, and D. Tarlac. The answer is Panay Island, Carinusa. Okay, so the Carinusa originated in Panay Island and was introduced by the Spaniards during their colonization of the Philippines. Okay, so it is related to some of the Spanish dance like the Bolero and the Mexican dance, Harabe, Tapasyo, or the Mexican hat dance. Okay, so Carinusa originates from Panay Island. Okay, next question. What is What city is known as the Queen City of the South? A. Manila, B. Iloilo, C. Cebu, and D. Caliendi or City? The answer is letter C. Cebu, Queen City of the South. So it was in the province of Cebu that Ferdinand Magellan first set foot in the Philippines. Okay, so Cebu, as of today, is known as the Queen City of the South and has become a thriving, highly urbanized center that comes second to Manila. Okay, so that is Cebu. Number five, originating in East Visayas region is the national dance. A, Tinikling, B, Pandango, C, Singkil, and D, Itik, Itik. The answer is letter A, Tinikling. Okay, Tinikling literally, literally means to perform it tickling-like. Okay, so the dance originated in Palo Leyte. Okay, in Visayas, Tinikling is one of the most popular folk dances in the Philippines, which originated during the Spanish uh, colonial era, particularly in Leyte. Okay. Next, question number six, which has the unique culture of Ivatan houses where Taiwan is visible, visible in a clear day? A. Palawan, B. Sambuanga, C. Batanes, and D. Leyte. The answer is letter C. Batanes. Okay. Number seven in the 1988 family code, at what age do couple need parental consent to enter into the valid marriage? Okay, the answer here is letter B. Okay, 18 to 21 years old. So, according to the article 5, any male or female of the age 
uh, 18 years or upwards, not under any of the impediments mentioned in Article 37 and 38, may contract marriage. Okay? So, question number eight. If you were a change agent, which of the following sectors you generally advance in order to address the problem of rampant poverty? Okay, is it A, culture and sports, B, leisure and arts, C, military training and drafting, and letter D, business and manufacturing? The answer is very obvious. It's letter D, business and manufacturing. Number nine, okay, number nine, which idea express scapegoat blaming for the failure of our political system a integrity is our answer to corruption b religion helps our fight against corruption c capitalism promotes corruption and letter d we need anti-corruption laws the answer is letter c capitalism promotes corruption number 10 the Mongols became one of the greatest conquerors because of their skill in blank. A. Horse riding. B. Diplomacy. C. Work as herders. And D. Use of weapons. The answer is letter A. Horse riding. Okay, so the Mongols were known for their fierce warfare. They included skilled horsemen who were well known for carrying out carefully planned and coordinated attacks. Number 11. Okay, number 11. The term was introduced by the French sociologist Emile Durkheim in his study of suicide. He believed that major cause of suicide in industrialized nations was the situation where the norms of society are unclear. Okay, this is unclear or no longer applicable to current condition. The answer is letter C, anome. Okay, so anime is a state of normlessness, lack of social cohesion and solidarity that often accompanies rapid social change. Number 12, since economics relates to other sciences, to what does it refer to on matters of right or moral behavior in business and trade? Okay, so this is, of course, ethics, letter D, okay? So in business, uh, business ethics refers to the standards for morally right conduct in the business. Number 13. Okay, number 13. Who is the founding father of the science of sociology? A. St. Simon, Herbert Spencer, uh, C. Harriet Martineau, and D. Auguste Comte. The answer is letter D. Auguste Comte. Okay, so he was a French philosopher. Auguste Comte is known as the father of sociology. Number 15. Okay, number 15. Uh, this is the period where man started to hunt and domesticate animals and reside in small communities. What age is this? Is it A, Metal Age, B, Neolithic, C, Paleolithic, and D, Mesolithic Age? The answer is letter B, Neolithic Age. It is a period where a man started to hunt and domesticate animals and reside in small communities. As you can see here in my uh, picture attached. Number 14, Mesopotamia, which means between two rivers, is considered a cradle for civilization. What is the country called at present time? Present time. A, Lebanon, B, Syria, C, Iraq, and D, Iran. The answer is letter C, Iraq. Okay. So the country that corresponds to the historical region of Mesopotamia, meaning uh, between two rivers, is Iraq, okay, Mesopotamia was located in the eastern Mesopotamia between the Tigris and Euphrates River and it is widely regarded as one of the earliest cradles of civilization. It is Iraq. Okay, question number 16. Okay, what issues arises from abortion when considered as murder of infant or an evil act? Okay, the answer here is the answer here is letter A, moral issue. Okay. 
Number 17 of the types of assessment which monitors progress during the learning process. What is this? A. Summative. B. Diagnostic. C. Pre-assessment. And D. Formative. The answer is letter D. Formative. The aim of formative assessment is to monitor students' learning to provide ongoing feedback to improve teaching and learning. Number 18 of the following, which is not among the many skills of Phoenicians to the progress of the ancient world. This is world, ancient world. A, shipbuilding, B, trading, and C, craftsmanship, and D, soldiery. The answer here is letter D, soldiery. Okay, so the Phoenicians are primarily remembered as adept sailors and cunning merchants. They added wood, they added clothes, dyes, embroideries, wine, and decorative objects. Ivory and wood carving became their specialties. And the work of Phoenicians, goldsmith, and metalsmiths was well known. And their alphabet became the basis of the Greek alphabet. So the soldiery here was not mentioned. So which are the following? The question kasi is which are the following? Which is not among the skills of Phoenicians. So it is letter D, soldiery. Question number uh, 19. This was the meeting held between the Magdiwang and Magdalo faction of the Katipunan at Cavite on March 22, 1897. Is it A, 1934 Constitution Convention, B, 1971 Constitution Convention, C, Tejeros Convention, and D, Malolos Convention? The answer is letter C, Tejeros Convention. Okay, so the two rival factions, the Magdalo and the Magdiwang, met at the administration building of the Friar State in Tijeros, San Francisco de Malabon, Cavite. Okay, so this meeting on March 22 had clear objective. Ano ba itong mga objective nila during those times? Number one, the planned defense of the liberated territory of Cavite against the Spanish and the election of the revolutionary government. Okay, it is the Tijeros Convention. Okay, so 20, what is the fallacious reasoning in saying publicity that all Mexicans as rapists and all Syrians as terrorists? A, bandwagon mentality, B, circular argument, letter C, stereotyping, and D, rationalizing. The answer is letter D, letter C, stereotyping. Okay, so what is this stereotyping? So it is a fixed, oversimplified, and often biased belief about a group of people. Stereotypes are typically rationally uh, unsupported generalization. And once a person becomes accustomed to stereotypical thinking, he or she may not be able to see individual or for who they are. Okay, so that is stereotyping. Question number 21, a terrace of plants and flowers was built by Nebuchadnezzar of the Chaldean Empire. Yes, this is referred to as blank. A, rice terraces, um, B, great wall, D, hanging gardens, and D, C, hanging gardens, and D, leaning tower. The answer is letter C, hanging gardens. Okay, so according to Birosus, uh, he also wrote that King Nebuchadnezzar constructed the gardens in Babylon in honor of his wife, Amit Amitess of Media, who longed for the lush mountain landscape of her native Persia. Okay, question number 22. What would result if people start to believe that their leader rules by divine right and his words are lost? Okay, the answer here is letter D, absolute monarchy. Okay, so that is absolute monarchy. So if people uh, start to uh, believe that their leader rules by divine right and his word are laws, it would lead to an absolute monarchy. Okay, 23 of mineral wealth of the Philippines, which is the largest in the Far East. Okay, A, natural gas in Palawan, letter B, copper and chromite in Mancayan, and C, coal in Mindanao, and D, gold deposits in northern 
Luzon? The answer is letter D, gold deposits in northern Luzon. Okay, so the largest mineral wealth in the Far East region of the Philippines is primarily associated with gold deposits in northern Luzon. Okay, 24. What is the dominant theme creative representation Doblicara as a Filipino cultural value? A. Corruption B. Disloyalty C. Deceit And D. Easy go lucky The answer is letter C. It's deceit. Okay, deceit is often depicted in Filipino media as a reflection of the complexities of human relationship and its challenge to individuals. Okay? 25. In crafting creative impression, what cultural syndrome is dominant in winning election? A. Service-minded bureaucrats. And B. Political dynasties. C. People-oriented leaders. And D. Mass-empowered officials. The answer is letter B. Okay, it's letter B. Political dynasty. Okay, that is the dominant cultural syndrome in winning elections. It can vary. Uh, depending on the country and its specific political landscape. Okay? 26. The growth theory perpetuates that human desires and unlimited wants foster an ever-increasing productivity and economic growth. What implication would it bring on gross domestic product or the GDP? Okay, A. GDP gradually increased because of people's pursuit of profit Opportunity. Okay, this is our answer. Letter A. GDP gradually increased because of people's pursuit of profit opportunity. Okay, so option A, it reflects this implication that people's pursuit profit opportunity leads to innovation, investment, and creation of new businesses which contribute to economic growth and increase in GDP. 27. If you were a change agent, which of the following sectors will you directly address in order to resolve the problem of rampant crime? Okay, so the answer is, of course, letter A, police sector. Okay, so the police sector plays a crucial role in maintaining law and order within a society. Okay, so by focusing on this sector, um, it would improve the effectiveness and efficiency and accountability of law enforcement agency. And this can uh, later help prevent and deter crime as well as ensure fair and just treatment and individuals within the criminal justice. Okay, so if you want to resolve the problem of rampant crime, so you focus on police sector. Okay, number 20, 28, in research, reasoning process from specific to general or broad pattern is called from specific to general, that is inductive, okay, specific to general. So, inductive reasoning is a type of reasoning where specific observation or evidence are used to infer general principles or Patterns. Okay, this is the kabaliktarano ng deductive. Deductive naman is from general to specific. 29. Who rules the Roman Empire in the 6th century, giving him honorary rule over all German states? A. Ivan the Great, B. Ferdinand, C. Charlemagne, and D. Charles Five. The answer is Charlemagne. Okay, so during the 6th century, the Roman Empire no longer existed on its original form. However, Charlemagne, Charlemagne, also known as Charles the Great, was the ruler of the Carolingian Empire, which encompassed a significant portion of the Western Europe. Okay, so 30, the following are examples of cultural universals that are behavioral patterns in all human cultures, except A, hospitality, B, gift giving, C, matriarchy, and D, joking. The answer is letter C, matriarchy. Okay, so matriarchy refers to a social system in which women hold primary 
power and play a dominant role in the societal structures. Okay, so the following are examples of cultural universals that are behavioral patterns in all human cultures except, except po yung uh, tanong, okay? So, matriarchy ang sagot. Okay, so 31. On criminal law, which of the following is not a crime under criminal law? Okay, it is letter C. Sorry, side. It is not considered as crime. Yes. So among the options provided, suicide is not typically considered a crime under criminal law. Suicide refers to the act of intentional, not intentional causing one's death, one's own death. 32, okay, 32, which kind of knowledge will you give least priority as it deals with ways of influencing supernatural events by manipulating certain laws of nature? Okay, the answer is letter D, supernatural knowledge. So the prioritization of knowledge depends on on individuals' beliefs, cultural context, and purpose, perspective of the person seeking knowledge. However, in the mainstream scientific and rational worldview, at least prioritized category would typically supernatural knowledge. 33. What is the geocentric hypothesis which was proposed by Claudius Ptolemy? 300 AD and proven wrong by Copernicus in later centuries. Okay, it is the theory that the Earth is the center of the universe. Okay, so the geocentric hypothesis proposed by Claudius Ptolemy in the 2nd century AD stated that the Earth was the center of the universe, that all celestial bodies, including the sun and the moon and the stars, surrounds it. Okay, 34. Uh, on the matter of race, how do scholars categorize Filipino as predominance in race? It is Asian. Okay, so scholars generally categorize Filipino as predominantly uh, belonging to the Asian race because the Philippines is located in the Southeast Asia and the majority of the Filipinos have ancestry tracing back to the indigenous Austronesian peoples of the region. 35. What is the simple logic for the implementation of the Planned Parenthood program to control population growth? Okay, the answer is letter A. It's one-child policy. Okay, so among the options provided, one-child policy, one-child-only policy is often associated with a policy called one-child. Okay, so this policy was implemented in China. Okay, and it mandated that couples in urban areas could have only one child. That is... Uh, the parental program to control population growth. So 35, what is the simple logic for, it's 35, yeah. Then we moved on to 36. Okay, so 36, in the study of social institution, which studies, studies issues related to kinship created by descent and marriage, it is letter A, family. Okay, so in the study of social institution, the branch that specifically focuses on issues related to kinship created by descent and marriage is a study of family. That's why our answer is family. 37. How can technology be best integrated in discussing a lesson on Philippine tourist destination in civics and culture class? Okay, so the answer is letter D. Okay, tourism documentary video footage played from YouTube. Okay, so this option, letter D, provides a comprehensive and visual representation of the different tourist destination in the Philippines, allowing students to have better understanding of the topic, and it also provides opportunity or for the students to see and experience this destination virtually. Okay. Number 38, which was the focus 
of instruction during the Spanish period. It is really the letter D, religious education. So the Yes, the Spanish colonization of the Philippines, which lasted for more than three centuries, was heavily influenced by the Catholic Church. So the Spaniards' um, authorities, along with the Church, placed great importance on spreading Christianity. Okay, so the answer is letter D, religious education. 39. What reason do you assess makes Taiwan important to the U.S. such as to desire its independence from China? So the answer here is letter C. Taiwan is democratic and China is communist. Okay, So Taiwan was transitioned into a vibrant and robust democracy over the years with regular elections, free press, and protection of civil liberties. And in contrast, the People's Republic of China, led by Chinese Communist Party, maintains an authoritarian political system with restrictions on freedom of speech, assembly, and other uh, fundamental uh, human rights. Okay, so that is the answer. It's letter C. 40, the last number. What will you best cite as a proof that the Philippines is not a most deprived and hopeless nation in the world? Okay, it is letter C. Highest literacy in ASEAN. Okay, so the Philippines boast one of the highest literacy rates in the ASEAN or the Association of the Southeast Asian Nations. Okay, so the ability of its population to read and write is an important indicator of educational development of the human capital. Okay, so that would be all. Okay, so the answer here is letter C. Highest literacy in the ASEAN. Okay, so that would be all. And on my next video, I will be presenting the um, Gen Ed. Uh, also, the actual questions that the actual questions last March 19, 2023 examinations. Okay, thank you so much and have a great day ahead.